Go. Let's hit it. All right, here we go. Welcome to the Macworld Podcast. I'm Roman Loyola, joined by Mike Simon and Jason Cross remotely. Hi, guys. Hello. The most important man in the room is, is Dan Masuoka, Hi, our everyone. producer. Hi, Dan. Hi. He's the most important man in the room because he is keeping an eye out on our Twitter feed and our YouTube feeds for your comments and questions. So if you have anything you'd like to say about the topics we're going to talk about today, please let us know. Uh, type them into YouTube and Twitter. Dan will keep an eye on them, and, and he'll chime in with uh, what you guys have to say. So it's the most important part of our podcast. So today's topics, we're going to talk about uh, some odds and, and some Apple news bits, some assorted news items. Uh, but the two major topics we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about products that Apple should kill. So kill, die, put to death. Or as I changed the headline to, put to rest. That's I saw safer. that. I yeah. made it a little gentler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I was being a little aggressive. No, but, mm. uh, but first, we're going to talk about uh, Spotify, which is Apple Music's major number one competitor. And if anyone's been following the news, there's been uh, several reports of Apple Music's uh, subscri subscription base growing and growing. And, you know, they're nipping at the heels at Spotify. And yesterday, Spotify came out with uh, some new features that Mike Simon got to see up close. Uh, was this, this was yeah. yesterday, right, Mike? This was yesterday, yeah. Yeah. So Spotify has some new stuff for its mobile app. Yeah, correct? I mean, you can't get them yet, I don't think. And, you know, these apps are weird. Like, they kind of do like a staggered rollout. Right. So it's not in the iOS store. It's not in on, on any of my phones, my Android phones yet. But the, the major changes aren't to the premium service. And that's what's most interesting about what Spotify did yesterday. In fact, the I don't think they mentioned premium once in the event. If they did, it was just in passing. It was This was all about the free tier. Mm -hmm. And... You know, so you can compare Apple Music 70 million to Spotify's, uh, and I'm sorry, Apple Music's 40 million to Spotify 70 million. That's premium. Spotify also has 90 million free users that Apple Music does not have and doesn't seem interested in, in acquiring. And what Spotify did yesterday is they made that free tier real attractive to people who are paying for the service, both Spotify and Apple Music. They... They're going to offer 15 playlists a day that you can listen to whatever music you want on them. The way it works now is if you're a free free user, you can listen to playlists, but you have to listen to them in shuffle mode. So if there's, you know, I don't know, 70 songs on there, there you're all over the place. For, so for 15 playlists a day, you can pick whatever song you want and listen to it, you know, a million times in a row if you'd like. And that's a that's a huge advantage for Spotify because, you know, this costs nothing. It gives you access to the same songs, but you have to, you know, you can't listen to them on demand. And now they're giving some on-demand listening to their free users as well. So um, I'm interested to see how, how or if Apple responds to this. Doesn't doesn't the didn't they do something new with offline music also? Well, they 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 have a data saver. It's not okay. it's, it's not offline per se, mm. but you can turn on this switch and it will kind of you know cache what you listen to most or the type of genre you live they, they were a little unclear as to how it works okay. but it will cache either individual songs or songs they think you might want to listen to or maybe a specific playlist that you listen to every day something like that so you're using less mobile data when you're you know not connected to wi-fi okay because that was the other that's the other huge distinction yeah. between premium and, and free is that you cannot download tracks at all right. yeah you still free. can't download individual yeah. songs for um, listening so a gentleman right. on YouTube is asking, how does YouTube or how does Spotify make money then? They make money with ads. Every, you know, every couple of songs, you'll hear a 15 second or, or a 10 second ad for mm -hmm. some product. Or they'll have, you know, this playlist is sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts or something. Yeah. And that'll, you know, they'll give you like 30 songs for free because Dunkin' Donuts paid to have their, um, their name on that. So, you know, they, they. I, I don't know what the numbers are that, you know, they haven't had their first shareholders meeting after going public. So we'll learn all that. But um, they I, with 90 million users, I'm assuming they make pretty good money for man rates. I, 
Um, and those aren't going away. None of the ads go away. Right, nothing. But I think They're not going a, away, or, nor are they changing. I think this is a really interesting strategy in that um, Spotify, number one, realizes that their differentiator is their yeah, yeah. huge number of free that's users. Right. Let's get more of those yeah, that's by right. making free so much better, like more access to more music, a better designed interface that recommends music like on the fly and all this mm -hmm. other stuff. Um, but also that that's their strategy to get paid users. Like that's right. if, if we want people to start poning up for this, well, maybe if we make free better, maybe if we make them love Spotify more, then they'll go, Oh, this is, I really just want to be able to download stuff. I want to listen to more playlists. I want whatever. And they'll start paying money that, and that goes yeah, right. well with their other strategy, which is to, to bundle up their, um, they're often that Hulu bundle. So mm -hmm. instead of 10 bucks for a month for Spotify and eight ninety nine, is it for Hulu? I the limited eight, commercials? I think, I think yeah. you said $7.99. $7 so it's, so it's 18, 18 and 13. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, for 13 bucks, you can get both together. Yeah. Um, and that's, you know, another way to, for them to kind of, you know, increase ad value, get more people on premium stuff. So yeah. Interesting strategies. So yeah, there's I some... agree. I... Go ahead. Oh, uh, Carrie. No, no, you can go. I, can uh, say... I had nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> there's some chatter on uh, Twitter, basically, you know, both sides, which one is better. Um, and if you think uh, Spotify is better, how could Apple improve Apple music? I mean, there's a there's several ways. For one, they need to clean up the app. It's it's very confusing. It's 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 a it's a as for Apple as far as Apple goes, it's very unintuitive. And you know, there's like settings are hidden and controls yeah. are hidden, and you know, there's all these drop downs and drop up menus. We uh, we ran an article a couple of months ago about like, you know, ten ten ways Apple can yeah. fix Apple Music. I think it was fifteen or something. We just kept going. <laughs> there were so many. <laughs> We talked about it on the podcast, but we asked the, we asked this question in our poll, didn't we? Like, what what yeah. do you, what do you want yep. in Apple Music? So we posted a poll yesterday. Uh, the question was, what missing Apple feature, Apple Music feature, do you want most? Forty eight percent of people wanted a free tier, which isn't surprising. Okay. Everybody wants yeah. free, so. Yeah. But uh, of the more feature specific stuff, free tier, I don't consider free a feature, so to speak. But uh, of the three that we offered as features, 20% wanted uh, mobile playlist editing, 13% wanted mobile data saving, 19%, which I think is actually kind of high for, for uh, our, the p people who listen to our podcast, Echo and Home speaker support, mm. So, mm. which kind of yeah, surprised it's, me how high that is. That's frustrating for anyone who has... A, a, a smart home that, that that's powered by anything other than a home pod. Mm, yeah. I mean, it just doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's on Apple. That's not Amazon saying, no, we're not going right. to allow it. That's Apple saying we don't care about right. echo or Google home. Yeah. So people, I, I, oh, go ahead, Jason. I don't think the free tier is really ever going to happen because I think yeah. Apple is very I proud agree. of its um, ability to pay artists more. Right. And I think that's a, a part of its thing. And that's one of the things that kind of causes yeah, it brings down the rate for everybody is that when it's ad supported, it's kind of less money coming in per track and all right. that. And it's, it's harder to pay artists a bigger chunk for, for streams. And I think, you know, Apple's um, lever in talking to labels and stuff like that right now is, you know, we we're giving you more money for mm -hmm. every stream, you know? So I don't, I don't think free is coming yeah. anytime soon for that reason. But is, so, I mean, Apple's maybe paying more than Spotify. Is, is that getting them anything from the labels? Like, does it matter? I mean, I it, think it gets them access to, yeah, to certain artists. I guess. So that but, means less than it used to. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. but uh, you don't, it's, it's, who knows what goes on behind the scenes of these things. But, yeah. you know, I think that yeah. they still, they want to keep, they want to keep doing that. They think it's something worth paying for and they don't want to, they don't want to, give free um well, outside of the the radios they they have the free you can do beats one or whatever yeah. free yeah uh -huh. they, well just the one that's all they have it's just that one station for free that's yeah it. there used to be others too They're, yeah they, they had itunes radio which was i mean that was like a pandora thing it was good mm -hmm. and with ads and all that stuff and they just killed it yeah uh along with the t twitter poll there are several comments a lot of them have to do with file management and 
uh, Apple Music. Like, there's a problem with grayed out tracks that people wish would stop uh, happening. That's, that's probably more of an iCloud thing than a Apple Music. iCloud thing, but, is also yeah. another yeah. thing that people were complaining about. Um, what else? Um, One thing I do like in Apple Music is the ability to edit the metadata inside the track. As a, I'm, I'm a bit anal with my music library, or at least I was before I now have all these tracks that my wife adds and my son adds because we all have Apple Music together. But when I did, uh, I, you know, I like to keep everything very, very neat and yeah, organized. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, you're allowed to visit, if you're a subscriber, you because can you have physically files. go in there. Yeah. Yeah. You can go in there and edit, you know, and that those changes go through all. Uh -oh. Yeah. So, um, and it gives you a normal library. Yeah. So some interesting poll results. Um, I, I use, I don't use Apple music. I, I use Spotify and when I, and I, but I don't use the mobile app because of a lot of, you know, like the lim playlist limitations and things like that. So mm. when I saw the announcement yesterday, I was kind of like, Oh, this is kind of cool. And mm. it is an interesting approach that, you know, you make the free app so good that people will use it. And then, it, you know, it's right. the entry point to getting a subscription to to paying for it because you because you like using it so much and you want to use the additional features. So it's an interesting uh, approach to how they. And they've also streamlined the app a little bit. It's 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 you know it's it, the navigation is nicer. They they took away the the radio tab. Now there's a, a premium tab, so you don't get like before if you clicked on something it would say this is a premium feature and it would kind of badger you now it's kind of off to its own if you want to upgrade you click on that it tells you all the things you get and um mm -hmm. there's also the um uh the uh, uh when, when you search there's there's all these different categories to search for it doesn't just send you to a blank page so it's you know they've they've uh if you're a premium subscriber you'll get some uh, some new stuff out of the app too whenever it gets here so i guess i never really pay attention to it but as far as the data saving uh, uh, feature, how much data do each of them take for, like, say, an hour of music? You guys have a sense of that? Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to quantify for an hour, but um, if you listen every day for, you know, say, two to two and a half hours a day, I mean, it could be a couple gigs a month, easy. Yeah, I mean, I I have T-Mobile, so none none of these count against my data cap because yeah. <laughs> they do the the free music thing. Um, but I think hurt. as much as it is about data, it's also just about connectivity. Like it's it's murder going through dead spots and stuff or being on a train and going right. through a tunnel and stuff like that. It, it's good to have that a big buffer or cache or whatever of offline things. And, um, and, you know, of course, Apple Music will let you download any playlist or album or track or something, but it's not automatically going like, oh, you're just streaming this playlist. Let me buffer up the next... Right. 10 songs or something like that to you know have a nice big cache of stuff to save data or something it's not it's not that intelligent about it yeah i mean i suspect that uh, wwdc will see some changes and some improvements to apple music we'll see you know mm -hmm. especially with HomePod coming out this year and all that stuff you know right still waiting for airplay 2 we're still waiting for multi room audio so you know there's definitely some announcements in the wings uh, one thing I will say that Spotify event was this straight up the best event I ever went to. <laughs> it was so, it was so well run. Like it started like my my clock changed changed to nine thirty and it started like instantaneously. There, there wasn't this blasting music in your face. It was just great. There was knowledgeable people on hand that you know were ample enough to answer everyone's question. It was it was excellent. Did they have a good musical Wi-Fi guest? They had good Wi-Fi. Yep. Yeah. They did not have a musical guest. Yeah. No. Because Apple always has the musical guests. Yeah. 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 So it's often imagined dragons. Uh, <laughs> RPW asks, what about Shazam integration into Apple Music? Yeah, I mean, well, who knows now that they're being investigated by the EU into this, uh, <laughs> into the, the viability or the legality of this merger. So we'll see. But right. uh, yeah, I was actually remarking. So they played music before the event, obviously. And I had the uh, Pixel 2 with me and there's a feature on the Pixel 2, if, if people don't know, that um, it automatically listens to music and tells you when songs are playing all it's around creepy. you. And it, But it's so great. Like, it's just like, like instead what's of Googling, oh, what's this song? It's just, it's, it's just right there. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. But it only, it, it's, go ahead. 
It's all offline. It's not. Um, yeah, it's all offline. You can turn it off if you want. Yeah. Right. But it's not sending data to Google about here's what listening to your surroundings. Right. And stuff. It, it just stays on the phone. It doesn't. It just keeps like 10,000 common tracks. It's way uh, more than that. Than it, it used to be very limited, but now it's like everything. Like my phone's always mm. banging yeah. things. Like even in a, in a restaurant, like if it's pretty loud and there's low music, it still can hear it. It's huh. just awesome. Yeah, it's great. And Ben on YouTube asks, do you think we will ever see a successful music-focused social platform? And I asked, not like MySpace, but he, he clarified, uh, we've seen lots of attempts at it, Apple's Connect and Spotify's Friends thing. I'm not too familiar with that. Uh, do you think we need somewhere to share our favorite songs um, of what we're listening to? I mean, p personally, I'd rather see integration with the uh oh, uh, you're breaking up a little uh -oh. bit, Mike. We're We're losing Mike. Like sharing and you know. Hey, Mike, can you say that? Say that. Say uh -oh. that again, because it. My back. Yeah, you cut, you cut yeah, off. Yeah. I, I'd, I'd rather see integration with the, you know, with Twitter or with Facebook, rather than creating a new service where you'll have to join. Mm -hmm. Just make it so it's friendly and streamlined within the app itself, and it's it's not horrible now, but it's not as easy as it could be. So yeah, I'd rather see Apple Music say, yeah, we're we're gonna we're teaming with Twitter with Twitter. So if you just hit this button, it sends out a um, a link to our thing. You can see it in a nice web interface. Uh, Spotify does it way better than Apple Music does. Yeah, you can find you can sort of publicly publish your playlist on either yeah. Apple Music or Spotify. But I think only on Spotify you can make it a a list that you can share with other people to edit. So you yes. can invite other people to also edit your playlist and have a collaborative playlist. And that's not really there yet. And then, you know, when you tweet a playlist or an album or something from Spotify, you get a nice widget where everything plays like in the in the widget and you see the tracks and all that stuff. And you don't get you get like album art from, from Apple and then a link into the app. Again, you can't like just play it on the web and stuff. So. Yeah, I think they just need to integrate better with. I don't need to join another social network no. just for music, <laughs> like for. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Apple's I mean, tried this twice. They twice, yeah, yeah, with Ping, and then Apple Connect, and both yeah. of them are just kind of. And I, I actually think that they were more for the artists. They were more for Apple. So Apple, Apple can go into a meeting with an artist and say, "See, you can reach out to your fan base directly." Yeah, they this. tried that, yeah. and less about selling it to the consumers and trying to get the consumers to use it. So I think it was more of a marketing tool that they wanted to pitch to, to the but artists. But even then, like an artist is going to reach way more people. Right. Like how many followers are they going to have on any one right. music right. service right. Right. Yeah. network? So they'll just they'll just tweet and Facebook and whatever. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's, I mean, it, it was this, it's, they wanted to do exclusive videos and interviews, but, you know, that's just a massive undertaking. That's just not necessary. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, I'm curious about our audience here, but I'm going to ask you guys this as well. So with all this talk about streaming, how many MP3s do you guys have on your phones? On my phones, on my I have phones. zero. I have nothing yeah. on my phone. Like, you mean like physically downloaded physically, to my phone? Because, I mean, you used to have to just add yeah. all your, you know, and that's why we needed, I feel like one of the reasons why we needed, you know, larger phone storage, right? Was that was for all the it, yeah. MP3s yeah. and and also photos, yeah. But yeah, that 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 was a huge a huge part with music, yeah. In oh, yeah. my iCloud library, I have like twenty five thousand, but in my on my phone, I don't keep any anymore because I don't need to. Yeah, I used to um, rip a bunch of albums and all that other stuff and have a huge. I don't even have that on my computer anymore. Like I didn't yeah. bother transferring it to my new computer. It's all sitting on. A, so a disc somewhere yeah yeah because yeah. i can't bear to throw it away but it's collecting <laughs> dust i never use it that's yeah I, I have a i have an external hard drive that's just music from like three years ago but yeah. i don't yeah i don't i don't touch it anymore because it's all there yeah yeah i think i have like 20 albums on my um on my phone so that's probably what mm -hmm. 200 i download or a significant MP3s. amount of stuff though yeah but I mostly do stream. So those 20 albums are like albums that like, you know, they're my favorites. And and I actually don't listen to them very often. You know, it's yep. so now, it's mostly Would you streaming. be able, are they not available for streaming as they well? Are. Or they, you just like them? I just like okay. having them and, you know, yeah. so I like having them. Yeah, I'm, I'm always adding new music to my life, like constantly things that I, I, you know, I might read somewhere. Like that's what's great about Apple Music and Spotify is that you can, you can hear about a new artist. You don't have to say, "Well, do I want to spend ten bucks?" 
Oh, yeah. Mike cut out again. Yep. We're having <laughs> connectivity awesome. issues with Mike. So, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Also, sometimes I often, you know, I li- I'll listen to my own music while I'm playing a game or something. And, you know, like I'll turn off the audio for the game itself so I can listen to that music. And I don't want, and sometimes the games are streaming or whatever. So I, you know, to cut down on the amount of data that I'm downloading so it doesn't affect game performance, I'll listen to the album that's on my mm. on my phone. So, uh, yeah, so that's, you know. But I, like I said, I, I don't listen. They're on my phone, but they're more like just there. I, I don't know when the last time I've listened to one of those albums, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> it's mostly streaming now. So uh, I'm, I'm thinking about like, you know, like the memes, but like, you know, what kids will will never know. And one of those is like the, all the time spent renaming files, music oh files, God, so that your gosh. library looks nice. So and many clean. hours of my life gone. Fixing ID three tags, man. And also like getting album out artwork, and oh my God, it was hours and hours of work. Yeah. So, what about you, Dan? Do you have any songs actually on your phone? No, I mean the only th- everything I listen to now is streaming. So it's either podcasts or Spotify. And we used to have Apple Music, yeah. but now. We switched to uh, Spotify, yeah, like the family account. So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see what Apple does in response, especially because you know streaming is the way to go. And there's been there have been rumors of Apple offering a streaming service, you know, to either replace or complement their current uh, iTunes offerings. So it's it's a interesting. Uh, competition that's happening right now so and i mean the big question is apple video or whatever they're going to call it is right what the tv how, how that they, integrates with all this yeah how are they right. going to yeah how are they going to service and and charge you for all this original right. content they're producing yeah. shows, <laughs> dozens of shows or yeah. whatever <laughs> it's crazy yeah i mean that that's the thing apple offers all these you know entertainment services and they're all accessed through itunes so, and it's kind of, iTunes has become this kludge. And maybe it's yeah. a product that should be killed. <laughs> That's not what you did there. <laughs> so, uh, today we posted an article, uh, about, an article uh, by Jason Cross on uh, five products that Apple should uh, put to rest. Uh, with all these product announcements that have been coming out, there, there are a few products that continue to be in Apple's family that haven't been updated in a while or maybe they're they've be, maybe need to be seriously updated and, re, and revisited in a different way and uh, Jason kind of went through yeah, five of those products uh, and, my, and so Jason do you want to talk about should we just go down the list how about number yeah, five I mean, <laughs> I was, <laughs> so I was thinking about this like Apple made printers for years and years yeah. and their printers were good, but there just comes a point when the it doesn't changes. matter that it's good because everybody else is making a good whatever, or it, it becomes a commodity object, or it's just not filling the role that it needs to fill like their X serve blade servers and stuff where you just go like, well, in order to do new opportunities and everything, let's, let's get rid of that and focus on these other things. So it's not like I'm saying these are bad products. No. Uh, cause a lot of people love whatever, you know, these, these products and stuff. And I understand that it's just that they just don't fill the role they used yeah, to fill. They're bad in 2018. Exactly. Yeah, or, yeah. or just, just not necessary or not necessary enough yeah, to, to right. devote the time to. So, I mean, so i the, the low hanging fruit here is the routers. Yeah. Why is Apple making routers? Like, oh, they, I don't even know that they are making routers. Right. They probably have a warehouse full of them, but they're still selling three routers like on their site today you can buy brand new airport routers well brand um, new is kind of like yeah brand awesome new. misnomer right it's new, unopen, yeah. unopen. They're not unopen. Even, are they even ace, ace 80211 ac yeah i don't even think oh, they are i they think are. they top uh, off oh they are ac okay. one is n and then the extremes are, are the extreme in the time capsule are ac there's no okay. ad routers um which is, and then of course, AX and, and mesh routers are the new hotness now. Well, that's what I personally, yeah. I'd love to see Apple take a stab at a mesh router. 
I mean, because I think yeah. they can really do it well. But they're just I just feel like there's plenty of other companies doing it well. Yeah, I mean, and, sure. And yeah. The, sure. my problem with routers is always like when you need to troubleshoot something, you need to get in the settings and you look at Apple's settings and they're terrible. They're just that's true. Yeah. You know, they're Apple's good at let's make something attractive that's just yeah. like you plug it in and it works, but then when it you need to dig into it. And and routers are one of those things where you really need to get in those setting pages sometimes, and they just can't. It's just, I, so I just feel like there are so many other companies doing it well. It's such a different thing. There were rumors uh, a couple of years ago that they killed the division, but if that's true, they're still selling a product that they don't have a team working on, <laughs> right. right? Which is not good either. Right. So I love that the time capsule is a router with like a built-in hard drive that's yeah, just sort great. of automatic for time machine but it, you can also just any hard drive on your network you can use time machine for so i'd rather see them instead of making a router make an apple network attached storage device which is not a router or anything but fits in between right now nasas are like there's cheap nasas that are like this is a usb hard drive why are, right. what is what's special about this and then there's expensive NASAs, which are big, and they suck down a lot of power. And you know, you, you, you got to find a big space in your closet for them. And so, there's I think there's room in between there for a mm -hmm. middle grade, like not too expensive, high performance network attached storage device to use as media servers and hold all your video editing data and all this other stuff. And it would fit well into Apple's sort of pro am marketplace and and could convince you know, regular people that having storage on your network is a home network is a thing that regular home people could do because us nerds do that kind of stuff. You know, it would be wonderful for me to have a product I could tell my mom, just plug this into your network and you can store all your right. photos and like, whatever on there. Yeah. She's always worried about like all that stuff disappearing from her, her <laughs> Mac. Yeah, but so, then that how do they get that iCloud monies? Yeah, that's a whole other, you know, separate thing they need to do. And they could have iCloud backup for it or whatever they want to do. But well, I mean, they don't yeah. even do I, iCloud. The iCloud backup isn't even for me. You can't even put Mac stuff on your iCloud backup. That's that's separate. No, no. I, yeah, that's yeah. I'm just talking about like photos or yeah, yeah. Your photos or yeah. something. So, yeah, I mean, I, if they do anything, I'd rather see them take a different stab than making a router. So that's number one, the easy one. Stop making routers. Yeah, it is kind of weird how it continues and like it's still there and you can find it on the website. And, you know, the rumors of the product team being disbanded and everything. And by all yeah. accounts, it's it's a dead product, but it yeah. continues to live on. I mean, the only yeah. I, what, but why? You know, it's it's not like exactly. Apple can but afford why? Apple can't afford to just say, all right, that warehouse that we have of a million routers, you know, we'll bury them and. New Mexico yeah. or something like Let's that. Let's make a robot to disassemble them. Right, right. So and we'll use the it's parts. also I mean and it's also a little messed up to unsuspecting consumers who might be new to Apple, buy an iPhone, like oh, I'll buy an Apple thing. router and you're buying a three year old product. Right. Yeah. That you know, people, people get don't know updates and security right. updates and all this stuff very well. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. Um so uh next one of so iPad mini. I think a lot of people like their iPad mini. But when so iPad too. mini was introduced, the phones were all little four inch phones and the iPads were way more expensive and they were heavy, you know, big and heavy yeah. and you can't hold them with one hand. And it made a lot of sense to have an, now the iPad mini, it's been sitting there for three years, not changed at all. It's almost as expensive as the 9.7 inch iPad, <laughs> which is a million times faster and supports the pencil and stuff. iPads. So iPads are cheaper now. They're lighter weight. Uh, by by half or something by you know 30 40 percent I think lighter than they used to be um, and phones are bigger and it yeah. just doesn't feel like it's the, the that gap really needs to be filled that price gap and that you know size gap really needs to be filled there they don't obviously don't care enough about it to like update it every other year or anything so yeah I think they could get rid of iPad mini and just focus on making the regular iPad you know, get the bezel size down a little bit and get the weight lighter and stuff and just keep that your affordable option. The iPad I, mean, I think there's a, there's a, I was I just going to say the iPad mini is 399. Yeah. It's, it's more expensive than the iPad. 
Yeah, yeah, the it's iPads are yeah, twenty nine for people. It's more expensive than the, but they, the but new, they only new. sell the one hundred twenty eight gig. Yeah, yeah, right. It's more storage. Right. Version. It's more storage. Right. To give you that, like, well, that's why it's more expensive. But yeah, and, and it's you know it's three years old processor and stuff. It's yeah, no Apple to play to to stuff. play devil's advocate a bit. Mm -hmm. it, the, I have a six year old and he loves my old iPad Mini. Mm -hmm. So I, there's a there's a there's a spot for it. It's too expensive. I lost Mike again. Because he's talking Update, about... Just cut the price yeah. in half. Yeah, yeah that I would, mean, um, I, I don't think Apple's ever going to sell a $150 iPad of any type. Um, or or two, $200. One, one, yeah. you know, make, it, make it the new iPod Touch. Kill the iPod Touch and, and cut the price of the Mini <laughs> or something. Because I think that's... Yeah. I think a kid would be more happy with a, an iPad Mini than they would be with a tiny iPod Touch. That's true, but I think uh, I think it's at three twenty nine, or th they'll just just. I think the regular iPad is the solution for for kids. I mean, sure, Especially but with I the have pencil support and stuff. You know, I think I have both, and yeah. my kid gravitates to the Mini because it's a perfect for his little hands. It's like the perfect size. The iPhone's a yeah. little bit too small. The iPad's a little bit too big. It's like Gully Rocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the iPad um, Mini is is our. At, I have. I think it's like that iPad Mini two. Is that right? Because they're on the four now, right? Is that yeah, right? Four, the four yeah. is the most recent one. Yeah, and the, it should be six, but it's the four. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I have like the two, and it's it's our coffee table iPad Mini, it, and it's good for just you know it's the perfect size for like wait what was that and then you look it up yeah. on it and then you just put it yeah. back down. But at the same time, we also have our phones in our pockets. It's you know. It's, what I don't understand is why is Apple just utterly ignored it? Like what's why? They, they update everything right. else. I, like, yeah, why can't they just put I a new yeah. processor? Same thing. I think there's just it's they they too maybe see that you know with phones getting bigger they look at what the sales are of it and with that regular iPad getting so much cheaper and being so much more capable I think that that's what they're focused on. Um, so yeah, I think I, that's controversial, but I just think that that's one of those things where it's like it's just not enough benefit to enough people. But you brought up the iPad Touch, and that was one of the other things on the list. Yeah, but the I iPad definitely Touch, think they should kill that. Yeah, yeah the iPod Touch there. is the, it's the last remaining iPad. It's an iPhone without the phone, but it's like a really old, old iPhone. And it's not that. It's not cheap. It's still. It's what, not that cheap. Two seventy nine or two three hundred. Well, how much is it? Um, for the yeah, thirty two gigabytes, it's one ninety nine. Okay, but for right, the one twenty eight, it's two ninety nine. Yeah, and and I think and and it's you know small and stuff, and I think that the 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 attraction of before the world was all on music streaming, you know, you needed a thing to carry your music, and it was fun having something. Oh, it also uses all these iOS apps, and that was good. But now the only attraction seems to be like, well, I don't want to give my kid a phone. Right. <laughs> I'll give him this, and then I think and I think kids really need and want and gravitate more toward iPads, which are now cheap. And I think that fills that role better. So I think they can just finally get rid of iPod as a but thing. I, I mean, the biggest problem, I think I'm right. Isn't it not even an iPhone 6? Like it's still an iPhone 5, right? Yeah, I think it's the, a, the it's a 5. Yes. So they have like if they haven't I mean, like that's 5S. 3 years that's 3 years ago. They haven't yeah. they haven't updated it with the new screen like mm -hmm. I mean, I think for for 150 or 200 dollars, I think the iPod probably has its place, but there's just no there's no support there and you're buying so what does it have like an A7 processor or some a, garbage? I think it's an A8. A8. It right, A8 yeah. has an 8 megapixel camera. Yeah, it has and, has the bad the bad camera. I mean, come on now. It's five, just like man. if it's going and, to exist, spend, you know, put three people on a team and make it worthwhile. <laughs> but the the converse of that is that if you if they really update it to much better hardware that would make it be like, oh, this is really worth it. Then they're not going to be able to sell it for one ninety nine, and now you're just an iPad territory. No, no, yeah, I'm not talking. I don't want it to be an iPhone ten. I want it to be an iPhone six. Right, <laughs> there's, a, there's a difference. Yeah, even that you know, though. You, you can make yeah. a two hundred dollar iPhone six. I would, I'm quite sure. No, mm -hmm. you don't think so. Not at Apple's margins. I don't think so. <laughs> so I just, yeah, I just don't think it's. I just don't think it has a lot of place in a in a in its price and its capabilities and that we're just focused on making iPads cheap. <laughs> and Doesn't it also have like, or maybe it's the previous iPod. It has like an attachment for a lanyard, but, but like you, 
It has like, I think so. Yeah. It's like a retractable. It, it, it's like a thing that pops out on the back. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I know they I did don't it see one it on here, but uh, maybe, maybe it was the previous generation. Yeah, I think but it, was yeah, they, generation. it was like a little loop that came out. Of the yeah. Back. Yeah. And it it doesn't even have um, Touch ID, right? It's, no, it's, it's it like has a, Siri. It's like it has a home button. It does have Siri, but yeah. it has a, like a home button. Yeah. So, well, you which, can't take it anywhere. Why would you need touch? <laughs> which connector does it have? Does it still uh, use the old, the long flat one? No, it's a lightning it's connector. Lightning. <laughs> it's a yeah. four inch display. Uh, yeah. How great, yeah. how great would that be if it was, it still had the old cable? The 30 pin? <laughs> yeah. That yeah, awesome. would be funny. For all the people who, who bought like, you know, who bought like this, the speaker system that has the docking and, need, and yeah. they still need to have connected to something, that's who it's for, you know? Yeah, yeah. The, the iPod Hi-Fi, which yeah. is, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, or they just have old docks, right? Yep. What was the other? What was the other? Oh, so iTunes. iTunes oh, I think may, maybe I think yeah, we had iTunes was on there, mm-hmm. uh, but maybe the most most controversial one that you had on there was the Mac Mini. Yeah, Ooh. people people, people love their love Mac that Mini. Machine. Yeah, yeah, and and I am not a, opposed to the role that the Mac mini is supposed to fill, which is it's an affordable way to buy a, like a headless Mac, a Mac with no not a monitor or anything like that. People use them as media sh- servers. People say, oh, I just want a cheap Mac. I can hook up for my parents who don't know anything and just with this old monitor or something. And that's fine, but it's not, number one, it's not really that cheap. Yeah, it's not I mean, they, they start at 500 and what you get for $500 is not great hardware like it's it's old it's like a core i3 or something (laughs) they won't no it's an i5 but it's two generations old and yeah yeah they can't hold a lot of storage so they're not great media servers unless you plug in on usb hard drive and now it's just like well just plug a hard drive into your router i mean just right there's a lot of it doesn't fill the role that people want it to fill really well and i think that as it exists, it needs to go away. And if Apple wants to continue to do this like small, really small, compact Mac thing, they need to go one of two ways. They it need they need to actually do something that is innovative. It was innovative when it was new. It's not an innovative idea anymore. They either need to go high end, like there's the Intel Nuke, the new what does it stand for? New something of computing, uh, and you yeah. see that. So it and it's a almost the size of a mac mini but it's like really high end yeah um and they're like a thousand dollars or something but if you wanted to buy it it blows the doors off of the low-end imax i mean it's (laughs) that thing's great so they either need to do something like that like oh wow i can't believe you get so much power in this small form factor something that's really truly usable as a mac for the next five years for somebody or Innovate the other way. Look at Intel's Compute Stick, which they don't make anymore, but um, they did that up to a couple of years ago. It's a stick the size of a large Chromecast with an HDMI plug on it, and you just plug it into a TV or a monitor or whatever, and it's got a full computer in there with wireless yeah. accessories and a couple of USB ports and stuff. That would be an amazing Mac product. Yeah, a Mac product. I would can, love to see that. A Mac you can put in your awesome. pocket. I mean, yeah. that's literally you can see them tim cook on stage take it out of his jeans pocket right. oh one more thing let me i almost intru- forgot yeah let me introduce yeah. you to the new mac and and it's it would know. be that, that would be the greatest thing i'm 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 actually a little surprised they haven't done that with yeah. the you know the yeah. fire stick is out and like you know the, this that type of tech mm-hmm. is mainstream now and if that yeah. did that with a you know a, i don't know 128 gig mac that would just be amazing Exactly. Amazing. The Intel's computer stick, especially since now they're so into cloud storage, streaming, everything's wireless accessories. They're already, the rest of their ecosystem is already set for, you yeah. know, a computer that doesn't have a ton of storage or anything like that. That's really affordable, but it's a full Mac and runs Mac OS and everything. That would be amazing. And, yeah. you know, so I think Mac mini as it exists needs to go away and they need to decide if we're going to make something that's not an iMac, where can we be innovative again? And right. go in a different direction than what the iMac mini, the Mac Mini is now, right? Maybe 2019 will be the year of the Mac. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I mean, when the Mac Mini first came out, the, a- Apple heavily pushed it as the switcher's computer. If you were yeah. on a PC, yeah. here's how you could switch over to the Mac. And 
you know, that was, they leaned on that heavily as mm -hmm. a marketing point. And then the iPhone came out. And so now I think Apple's way of getting people onto the Mac is through the iPhone and not necessarily yeah. saying, yeah, right. Is it through services? Yeah. Anymore? Their services business right. is what's meant to grow. Right. Um, so at the time, yeah. a $500 Mac was a big deal. Right. You know, because yeah. you, didn't, right. you didn't have, yeah, I don't remember what the initial price of the first Mac mini was, but it was, I think it was, I think it was 500. It was sure. cheap. I mean, there weren't as many, you can't, you couldn't just go buy any $400 laptop like you can now. I can walk right. into Best Buy and buy a $400 laptop. Yeah. So it's not, not a Mac, but if we're not, so it's not the competitive or, or thing. Or $329 iPad. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so the first Mac Mini came out September 2005. The base model was 499 Yeah, that yeah. was uh, better known as the computer that killed uh, ThinkSecret, if anyone remembers that 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 company. That oh, was right. a rumor site back in the day. And right, they, yeah. Uh, that, that, was the, that was the rumor that Apple, you know, plugged away and uh, ended up suing them and shutting them down. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the last one was iTunes, which, you know, has become such a bloated uh, mess <laughs> of a it's it's a poster child for like yeah. bloat in an application bloat. It, it was a storefront for music and now it does everything. It plays videos and you buy video and you listen to podcasts and you buy audio books and you yeah. I mean, and they've already determine the right way to fix this on ios yeah right on ios there's Perfect. one app that's just a store yeah and then there's a music app for playing music and the tv app for playing video and there's the the itunes U and the podcast app they broke them into separate silos of like here's an app that can concentrate on these things they can take those exact things and do them on the mac yeah. and then all they need is a utility a, a, like strictly a utility app that does your you know, local backups and firmware updates and stuff like that, that you need to, if you ever need to plug your, your iPhone into your computer and do a repair, you know, yeah. software restore or something, you know, and then if they had, if iOS and, and macOS were the same in that way, think of all the cool stuff they could do with handoff and everything mm -hmm. that right. they, it's tricky to do right now. Cause they're so different. So yeah, I, I, iTunes as it exists needs to go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's been a that's been a rallying call for us yeah. for quite some time. I mean, it's, and it just keeps getting like every year they come out with their their, their update, and it's just like yeah. it's worse. <laughs> they they got rid of a lot of stuff in what was it the latest one, in the one that came with High Sierra along with High Sierra Twelve. They got rid of a but, few things. Right, and you but, can't even is, is is you can't even buy iOS apps anymore through iTunes. Is that correct? I right, that's what that. they got yeah. rid of. They got, they got rid, rid of, of the, the iOS store and the managing your your apps, your app layout right. and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Which I actually kind of miss. So because <laughs> because the interface, that could be it's just there's a lot of times access, when I go so. to look for a iOS app and I'm like, oh crap, it's not there. Yeah. Well, a, a separate <laughs> issue is um, <laughs> there's no reason the iOS app store shouldn't exist on the web. Yeah. They have the app listings right. on the web, but then it like... But you can't search for anything unless you go you to Google. Yeah. You can't yeah. search, you can't buy there, and there's no reason I can't be logged in to my iCloud account on the web, hit buy, and it sends it to... Have a pop-up where, yeah, I totally Yeah, what, if, what do I yeah. want to download it to? So Android's been doing this for years. I can only assume that there's some stupid patent or something getting in Apple's way because right. it's so obvious that right. I can't imagine why they're not doing it. Yeah, so... But yeah, check out Jason's article on our website. It's on the homepage right now. We all also put a link to it in our show notes for the uh, podcast article. Uh, let us know what you guys think. Uh, is there a product you absolutely think should not die? Like you really do love the airport router. You don't want it to die. Um, well, they definitely we, don't want the Mac Mini to die. <laughs> a lot of people don't want the Mac I, Mini. I assume that a lot of people are going to say that, and, and just read yeah. my justification because I don't, I don't, I don't want them to kill the market. The concept they're, is right. The concept, the thing that yeah. they they were originally trying to address with the Mac Mini that I don't think it fits anymore. Right. I think right. they just need to do it in a different way than what it they needs have. to evolve. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine anybody would disagree with that. Yeah, right. I mean, that's it's, it's just it, it needs it needs more than an upgrade. It needs yes, a, a different, right. We don't. It, it's yeah. not just a chip and a couple new ports. Like the home Mac Mini needs to be rethought for yes. now. 
Exactly. Agreed. So what I'd like to see is a Mac Mini in the shape of like like an oversized disc or coin, but it, you know, and, and it just has the Apple logo on it. <laughs> and and then like that's, what, like, that's like a Chromecast. Actually. Yeah, it's like, and then it's like, like a, a video circle that plugs into the back of your TV. That would be kind of cool. So yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, let us know what you guys think. Uh, some other odds and ends. It's been kind of a uh, slowish week for Apple news, so we're just gonna go through a couple of uh, a few important more. Important announcements that have been announced, like yesterday, Apple released updates for iOS 11.3 and macOS 10.13.4. Uh, majority of those updates were security updates. Mm -hmm. uh, there was some speculation that maybe these updates were to address the uh, what is it, the gray key box? Yeah. Yeah. So in case anybody doesn't know, so last week or actually. Maybe it's been more than a week. Uh, I forget. Was it was it Vice revealed that this company has this product that can crack iPhones, and the pol and, uh, police departments have been using this device. And it's yeah. called the Gray Key. I mean, they've been around for a while, but this is one where they say they can crack even the latest hardware and the latest versions of iOS. Yeah, um, and it takes a few hours or something, but yeah, it's a it's physical device you plug in the lightning ports to box yeah um, and they offer service where i think for certain devices you have to send it to them right you have right. to send it to the company but they're popular law enforcement of all types from everywhere from your sheriff's department up to the feds yeah. use them for for various things and you know this is apple's always against this kind of thing so yeah and i think essentially the gray key is and i don't know this for sure and actually i from what I've read, nobody actually really knows because nobody's gotten their hands on it. But they think there may, might be probably just jailbreaking the devices to get access to them. And so possibly, but that's yeah. not supposed to be able to be done. Well, yeah, it's not. If supposed you to have be done. a, if you if you if it's protected already, how do you you gotta you gotta break that protection in order to jailbreak? Yeah, it. that's yeah. supposed to be the idea. You're not supposed yeah. to be able to do that without the passwords. Right, They're right. getting around somewhere, uh, based on the amount of time it takes. And the and the way that they say that it's a variable amount of time, I think they're doing some sort of they're turning off somehow the protection for brute forcing your password. Right. And then they're brute forcing all your That's my you know, guess too. Guessing yeah. guessing things. Yeah, if normally you can can't do that. It's happened to me. We have we have an old iPhone five C here and nobody knows the passcode to it. And I've tried <laughs> to guess it, but now I think I have to wait something like six months before I can try again. <laughs> so if anybody if you ever tried that, so if you try, people who don't, may not know, if you try, if you incorrectly input uh, the passcode, iOS will say you can try again in X amount of time. So eventually it gets longer the more times you fail. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I, I, I've been tempted to try, keep trying so I can see how long I can go. But I have to <laughs> wait that amount of time to fail again. Yeah. So, and I don't remember how long I have to wait now, but it's it's been. I think I got to like a week or something like that. I don't remember, but yeah, because uh, I wanted to see how far I can go. So that yeah, there's speculation that that's what was in it. Also on iOS, yeah. uh, it supposedly fixed the issue where um, some screens that had been repaired on iPhone eights that would brick the device, um, and that's apparently fixed. That's yeah, I read that too. Yeah. So uh, update your devices, uh, backup first, of course, but, you know, update your devices. We have an article on our website that, sh that tells you how you can go about doing that. Since we're talking about news, George Barry asks, are we going to see AirPlay 2 before iOS 12? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. We should do an over-under on that. Right? What yeah. about the, the friggin' air power? Where is that? <laughs> yeah, there's. I don't know where that is either. Um, <laughs> like, there's no hide nor hair of mention of that on Apple. Well, maybe maybe they tease it, but man. Yeah, there's. <laughs> How hard is it to make a, a, a charging pad? <laughs> well, so they're doing something special with yeah, the software where you can see it. the charge rate kind yeah. of thing, and I, maybe that's an uh, that's also kind of a hidden feature of iOS 11.4. Or something. So the eleven point four beta is out, and I think that's where they're finally going to do iCloud messages, which is in the beta. Yeah. And, um, and we're knocking on WWDC's door here. It, it has yeah. to come out before WWDC. It has to, yeah. Otherwise, that would be embarrassing. Yeah. If, uh, 
That's if Iowa Jew. features announced announced at last year's <laughs> WWDC as iOS 11 features, right. major features demoed on stage, just were right. not available by the next WWDC. <laughs> that would be kind of a watershed moment. I mean, Craig Federighi would have a sure some some funny jokes about it, but yeah, sure. it's a bit of a it's a bit. It's a bit out of character. Right. And yeah. um, I mean, it speaks to the whole thing about, you know, should they announce features before they're ready and over promising and under delivering and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But it's a little surprising that the charging pad that was announced now in September. Yeah. We haven't heard anything about it. It's been, what, six months now? I think yeah. that'll seven, be seven? revealed at WWDC. And I'm not basing that on anything. I'm we don't just, even know how much I'm it costs you. Yeah. Yeah. But, we don't have a price. They yeah. just, when they announced it, they said it's going to be spring, but they never said. Right. It's spring. Right. <laughs> <We're waiting. laughs> so and then so as for AirPlay two, it's like what? We'll say five weeks before WWDC. So the yeah, over uh, under right, is like June, what? Four June, weeks. Yeah. yeah early so June. will it be out so, by so right, how about May thirtieth? <laughs> it keeps kinda creep it keeps kinda popping up. It's in the eleven dot four beta, but then in beta two the stereo pairing part from HomePods disappeared. But the other stuff about AirPlay 2 is there. That's not the stereo pairing for HomePods is not really an AirPlay 2 feature. People kind of lump them in together. Yeah. So it might end up in iOS 11.4, which really needs to come out before. <laughs> before WWDC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, Apple also earlier this week announced a MacBook Pro battery replacement program for the 13 inch model. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, the non yeah. non touch bar thirteen. Right. Months. Yeah, I did and, not know that there was a battery issue with the non touch bar. Laptop. Yeah, I don't think it was it was widely publicized. It's yeah. it's narrow too. It's not all the thirteen inch non touch bars. Right. It's those weighed in a certain production lot. So you have to go type your number into a yeah. a form in on Apple site, and they'll tell you. And what's interesting is that it's so apparently the battery swells but apple says it isn't a safety issue so i don't know how those two are are not mutually <laughs> exclusive but i guess they are <laughs> it's, that, it's not a that. safety issue for you as a human <laughs> but it will destroy your laptop so i thought swollen batteries were bad news for people they, they yeah. have this problem with this because it's this they've had a couple of different yeah. uh, versions of the watch of apple watch that have had swollen battery issues um and and iphones I mean, to their to their credit, they're shipping three hundred and fifty million batteries a year, so some are going to have right. problems. It's going to happen. Right. I mean, failure rates on on Apple's products by yeah. any measure are tiny and yeah. not really, you know. If 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 Samsung had this same issue, you know, it would be um, at the same scale, the same percentage of units failing on a Galaxy S nine. Just by the sheer numbers, yeah. you wouldn't even hear about it. <laughs> It'd be like one guy. <laughs> so now now it's a good phone <laughs> no it's a, it's a fine phone and they sell I'm only, I'm they sell 10 or 20 million of them but it's just not at the same scale as... yeah so if you have a 13 inch macbook pro without the touch bar and you bought it fairly recently it says here manufactured between october 2016 and 2017 so actually it's not that recent the, yeah, uh, last units, october and the prior october yeah Mm -hmm. uh, but if you bought one during that window, you might want to check it out, see if it's... Yeah, you can get your serial number with the uh, about this Mac window and just plug it into it. There's a little field on Apple's uh, support page, yeah. and it'll tell you if it's, uh, if it's part of the program or not. We have mm -hmm. an FAQ for people who are interested. It's on our website, so yeah. check that out. But, uh, you know, you don't want to have a sit around with a bloated battery. <laughs> not a safety issue not, even though it's not a safety issue you, you should probably get that look, looked into uh, and finally uh, there was a study that came out uh, I believe this was by Creative Strategies uh, Ben Badgerin, Bajaran I don't know how to say his last name uh, it was a satisfaction study of the of the iPhone 10 mm -hmm. and um what it found that there was a that people who have an iPhone 10 are pretty much very very satisfied with the iPhone 10 and its features, except for one thing. Ooh, what is it? What is it? <laughs> I wonder what that would be. I wonder what by, that by could a be. Wide margin, so, yeah. So uh, it's, it's if it, it, 
I think it's pretty much uh, pretty obvious what that could be, and a lot of people. It's not, it's not the notch. <laughs> it's not the notch. People don't actually don't mind the notch that that bit. No. You know, it's a uh, Siri, and it's interesting. They have a chart on their website that shows like it's a bar chart. Uh, they essentially graphed people's satisfaction, and everything is above. Almost everything's above, well above eighty percent. A lot, of, well above ninety percent, and then. Way down at about twenty percent is Siri. Yeah. I like to meet the twenty. There's twenty percent of the people who are satisfied. With Siri. <laughs> yeah, I want to meet those people. So what you, yeah, so. I mean that's maybe all. Maybe they just don't use other voice assistants and don't know what they're missing. But yeah, that's yeah, and it's what we've been saying all along. This is this is a really a real sore spot, and it has its tendrils throughout Apple's ecosystem. Right. So it this drags down all products. Um, yeah. But the other par- part of that satisfaction study was that not only is the overall satisfaction rate for the iPhone 10 really high, like for any consumer product, like extremely yeah. high, but the number of people who say they're very satisfied as opposed yeah. to just, just satisfied or dissatisfied is well above almost any other consumer electronics gadget. It's people really love their iPhone 10. It's, I mean, it's a, it's a hell of a phone. I've, I've used now the, the S nine and a bunch of Android phones that, um, you know, have released and will be releasing soon. And it, they, they just can't compete the, the quality of the screen, the, the, the impeccableness of the design, even, you know, Android phones, they're all doing the notch now. Yeah. Yeah. But it's they're not this. They're doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Apple has it. Like Apple's reason was to make it balanced and symmetrical, and there's mm-hmm. no the, the bezels are even all around. They, you know, you can argue with the size of them. They're small, but they're not like super small. But the Android phones, they have bezels, and then they have a, a, a chin, and then they have like a little more space at the top, and it's just like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> it's like they have a notch and a chin, yeah, and the bezels aren't even everywhere and stuff. It's well, why even have the notch? And, I mean, and the reason is because Apple's design team is just better. They're just yeah. you know yeah. they, they send things. this stuff through engineer at certain things. Yeah, they you know they they engineer and they test these things and they go through so many different prototypes until they get it right. Yep. So, uh, of course, they have way more money, but still. So Alf kind of brings this up as a joke, but it's sort of a, a real question. Was uh, the no audio port on there <laughs> the an headphone option? Jack. Headphone jack. And like for me, wouldn't you rather have a headphone jack and worse Siri than better Siri and no headphone jack? You know, they don't. They list creative strategies on their chart list. Uh, categories that ranked high i don't know if these are all the features that they mm. that they queried um so i, I mean the know. iphone jack isn't an iphone 10 thing true it's not so it's not, not specific fair to pit it to pin yeah. on that I, I personally i don't care i mean the, the pixel doesn't have one either a bunch of htc phones don't have i mean it's it's becoming that's a trend thing. wireless yeah. headphones that's not like, are fine. just because it's a trend doesn't mean it's a good trend I mean, it's 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 a matter of yeah. preference. I'm happy with Bluetooth headphones. It's nice, you know. I, it's it's annoying for me because I'm always jumping back and forth between phones, and if I bring the wrong headphones, I sometimes can't use them. <laughs> Most people don't have that problem. You buy a phone, you know what you got. Still you you, you got your headphones, and and you're set. I don't think it's I don't think it's a pain point anymore. I think it's an iPhone people. Yeah, it's annoying, but it's nowhere on the. I mean, would I rather have a headphone jack and worse Siri? No. If that was my choice, then no. <laughs> Actually, have the jack and give yeah. me and, and make Siri way better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, I, Air, you know, Air, AirPods are so good. Like, I don't think it's that big of an issue. I'm surprised how much I like AirPods. I really am. Yeah, I finally got a pair <laughs> of AirPods, and they're they're pretty awesome. I was ready to hate on them. I was so, so was ready I. to hate on them. Yeah. Especially because I, 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 I still don't, don't like, like the way AirPods. they look. Yeah, I still don't like yeah. the look, but they they work really well. I'm kind of surprised. It's like, funny how you know I. I agree the look is weird, but, you know, Jason and I have cords hanging out of our ears, right. and that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, that's normal. Whole, like, <laughs> like, that's like normal. Like, earpods right. don't fit me right. well. Because it's, uh, been, it's that little bit of weight that's pulling your ears. Yeah, it's that little yeah. tension. And even though these are the same shape, the AirPods are the same shape, yeah, they don't go anywhere. They they fit <laughs> fine. I mow the lawn with them and stuff. It's, just, it's great. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. If we're talking about products Apple should kill, kill the earpods for $30. That's, <laughs> that, that's BS. And give everyone a pair of AirPods with their iPhone. Oh, wow. That would be something if they gave away free AirPods. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just raise the price by $100. They, they don't seem to mind doing that. 
Uh, speaking of no headphone jack, there was also another rumor that the SE2 is in the works and that mm-hmm. it may not have an, a headphone jack. Yeah, right. that would be crazy. That to me that's seems a little crazy. For, that's geared towards emerging markets of right. sorts. And those people, you know, you're not going to make them pay $150 for a pair of earbuds. Give like. Well, and it comes. They'll, they'll, they'll. It'll come with a pair of lightning earphones. So I guess that's fine. Plus, right. but, and the and, adapter maybe, but still. Adapter, but yeah, that's, it's, it's then not. you can't charge. Yeah. The other part of that was that maybe it'll have wireless charging. Yeah, which would be cool. That would be which cool. Would, right. That would help alleviate the well. What? How do I listen to something and charge at yeah. the same time? If it's in there a, are in plenty a... of cheap wireless chargers out there, charging yes. pads yeah. and things yeah. out there, and that's not, that's not a big cost. Up. And if it's still 450 bucks, that would be a big deal. And I always mm-hmm. see on Amazon the knockoff AirPods. So yes. I always wonder. Yeah, like, I, what... I, I like the SE. I like, still like that design. I always wonder uh, when I'm walking around how many people have real, real ones AirPods. and how many are, are fake. But there's, and, no, there's yeah. no way to really You're know. You're in San Francisco <laughs> and they're all real. Yeah, yeah that's true. I can, <laughs> because that's I, can, like... I can tell you by experience, the fake ones are just utter crap. Yeah, some of them, I'm sure there's one or two out there that are fine, but I tried for the biggest thing that they do is you have to like pair them with each other like separately. There's separate Bluetooth. It's it, it's crazy complicated and they sound horrible. So <laughs> I, my guess is most people are using regular AirPods or like Beats or something if they want a, a higher end pair of yeah. uh, Bluetooth headphones. I mean, in San Francisco, a pair of AirPods is one tenth of your rent. <laughs> so, right. Why not get the real ones? So. Yeah. When, isn't it one twentieth of your rent at this point? <laughs> well, so, if you have your own place, it definitely is. Dan, as an advocate of smaller phones, if the iPhone SE two had no headphone jack, you you wouldn't mm. you wouldn't use that phone. I don't know now. I once you start getting, <laughs> I've started to get used to a larger phone. Oh, so it's it's, but that what it is. I don't know. I don't know. It's tough. <laughs> yeah. Might be too late now. I got too used to something larger. <laughs> what are you using now, Dan? What did you settle on? So right now I'm on the Pixel Two. Ah, well there you go. That's your problem. That's a that's, a, the, that's a the regular or the XL. The, XL, the, yeah. the regular, regular. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. That's still a lot bigger than an. Than an SC. You know, so it's just the size of like a regular iPhone eight or something, screen size wise. They need to get the bezels down on your regular non iPhone X phones. <laughs> Yeah. Is what it uh, five? Is it five and a half? The uh, I think it's yeah. I think it's an iPhone eight um, size screen. The Pixel, uh, the small Pixel two. Yeah, I wish it yeah. was slightly. Maybe, maybe smaller. it's five. It might be five. I think it's five. I, I can't I remember now. Yeah. 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 I so think, it's a little smaller than iPhone eight. Yeah, I I feel like if I was to buy a phone now, if I had to buy a phone now, I would probably buy the ten. Hmm. Yeah. The iPhone. I'm 10. not. Yeah. I'm just you know, like this has been part of like a big experiment. You know. Of you know Apple versus Android and see how, see yeah. how I feel you know but I'm not I don't so know so you I'm... like you like iOS better yeah that's that's interesting because yeah. that's that is as good as Android is going to get on that phone I know I know <laughs> that's, yeah. that, that's it <laughs> oh just to let and people part know. of that comes down to what you've got your you know what not just what you're used to but you know you've got a, a history with an ecosystem you've got apps exactly purchased yeah. and all yeah. this other stuff and you just don't want to give them up you know. And um, I think the big thing is, like, me and my friends have, uh, like, for birthdays, we do this drawing thing. I won't say what we draw, but um, I, I don't get to do the, I don't get to see the drawings anymore. So I'm, like, missing out on all those features. Oh, they do that on iMessage, you mean? Or? Yeah. Oh, I see. Because okay. everyone else is on iMessage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's a killer. You don't so want to be the green it, bubble it, guy. It comes <laughs> yeah. through as just like nothing. What does it come through as? Uh, I don't see the the drawing, and so the last round they had to take a screenshot. But then I don't get uh-huh. to see it being drawn, and that's part of you know the fun of it. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. I would assume they would Apple would just make that into like a mini movie and just send you would it that think way. so, yeah, because that's how the face the little that's how thing. Samsung Samsung yeah. has a similar feature on the S8. The uh, I forget what they call it. But yeah, it just comes through as like a little movie. But that's also how an emoji work, I think, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They're just yep. little movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Another product they should kill right before we finish this is that uh, ostentatious design book they make for a coffee. <laughs> yeah, pages. I included that as a as a as a honorable mention because it's that such thing, a neat that product. That thing's more than the than the iPod. <laughs> that thing goes yeah. more than the iPod. 
Two hundred to three hundred dollars, depending on the size, and it's not even. It's just pictures. It's just right. pictures. It's just like pictures. there's like a it's tiny a intro book. by Johnny Ive, and it's all pictures. Yeah. It's nonsense. Right. So. Nonsense. Yeah. I can't even believe they still sell it. I thought it was a limited edition, like Christmas thing they did that, but I found it on their website. It's like, my God, they still sell this thing. Yeah. <laughs> and there's two versions. Like there's like a <laughs> standard version, version, like a deluxe version. Yeah, it's just size. So, it's just a bigger one. Yeah. So uh, speaking of uh, things that should be killed, I think that just about does it for this week's episode of the Macro <laughs> Podcast. I show, I show should be killed. <laughs> The rare yeah. closing transition. Yeah. Yeah. Closing <laughs> transition. So. Uh, I'd like to thank Mike and Jason. Thanks, you guys. Thank, thank you. you. I'd like to thank Dan, our producer. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Roman. And thank to thank the audience. Thank you for your comments and questions. Join us again next week. We go live on Twitter and Facebook at 10 a.m. Pacific. So check. Uh, you'll have to do the time conversion because uh, I don't have the time conversion in my head right now. But it's 10 a.m. Pacific time. I know that's 1, a, 1, 1 p.m. Eastern. So, uh, But join us with your comments and questions for next week's podcast. We don't have the topics just yet, but we'll let you know. We try to let people know what the topics are at least a day in advance. And also, and if you're interested so. in uh, Apple's earnings, that is on, I believe, Tuesday. Oh, is that Tuesday? At five, at five yeah. o'clock. So we'll definitely sure. talk May, about May Apple's earnings on Tuesday. You know, there's been so much talk about, uh, you know, iPhone demand is terrible, yeah. and whatever yeah. and stuff. And we're, we probably won't see the kind of breakdown we'd like to see, but just overall unit sales. Yeah, and, and stuff the, the guidance will, and the numbers are huge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, will give us some indication, and then you can see. Yeah, the stock's been getting kind of hammered based on all those rumors. So it'd be yeah. curious to see. Yeah. All the it. tech stocks got hammered. Everyone's yesterday. getting well, hammered also in the market. Also <laughs> so, anyways, well, that just does that does it for this week's show. Uh, join us next week. Thank you very much. <laughs>